So when you rotate an object in Blender, what you do is press, uh, sorry, press R and then rotate it. Especially it's uh, good to go to front view mode. That's one number one on uh, number pad and then rotate R to rotate and then like you rotate like this. So right now what's happening here is this cube is rotating on its own central point or its own axis. Rotate and this. And here we have this uh, cylinder which is also kind of same, similar uh, um, in the sense that it also rotates on its own axis. It has the central point, the orange point, orange dot. When you click on the object, you can see the orange point. So, uh, in addition of uh, this orange point, we also see here on this cube this point, which is the 3D cursor. If I move this cube here, the 3D cursor is still here. So this is the center of our viewport. And what happens here is when you rotate here, it rotates like this. But what if you want to rotate this object from a different uh, center, central point, or um, or an origin? Okay. So right now, its origin is on its own axis or its center. But if you go to object, set origin, and origin to 3D cursor. Okay, now this center of this object, this cube, is on this 3D cursor. Now if I rotate, it rotates from the point, which is on 3D cursor. Okay, we'll go back to this, its original state. So this is how the set origin option works similarly you can do here on this cylinder right now it's rotating on its own but if you select this object go to set origin origin to 3d cursor you're gonna see this so once you have uh, set the origin to 3d cursor you can uh, you can you take it back to its own origin. To do that, select the object, go to Object, Set Origin, and Origin to Geometry. Okay. Once you do that, it rotates and uh, rotates on its own central point, its own origin. Same with the cube. Okay. So another option here is Geometry to Origin. So let's say we have set this origin to 3D cursor. So right now it rotates um, like this. But if you want this object to move to the center and make this center its origin, you can click the object, go to object, set origin, geometry to origin. What it does is, this will um, move the object to its origin, which is right now on 3D cursor. Click here. Now the cylinder is at the center of the viewport and it rotates like this. Again, you can move this like this. And um, if you go to set origin, origin to 3D cursor, it moves like this. And if you again go to set origin and origin, a geometry to origin, it goes like this. So this is how the set origin option works. Um, alternatively, what you can do is, uh, let me show, I'm not 
exactly I'm 100% sure about these options origin to center of mass according to surface and according to volume I mean I don't uh, know the exact difference but it, what it does is if you go to let's say this is the cube if you go to edit mode and then if you make some changes okay something like this okay now it has a very uh, weird shape now right now the center is here but now if you go to object set origin origin to center of mass according to surface it goes to the center of the object here according to its surface and if you go to object set origin and origin to center of mass um, let's see here it's origin to center of mass according to volume it just goes a little bit down it's not even noticeable right now if you go again center of mass with surface it's a little up and then center of mass with volume it's it's a little down so that's the only um, difference I can see with the surface and volume otherwise they are quite same so so the goal of this uh, tutorial is to show you how set origin works and how you can um, rotate your objects properly um, ideally what I suggest uh, you is to go to front mode or like side front view or side view or like this one from um, top view if you rotate from here you can uh, rotate properly you know it doesn't go here and there it just goes one way so that's the uh, best option but if you rotate from this view it just it's not fixed like uh, it can go anywhere okay so yeah alternatively what you can do is rotate R for rotate and press Z for Z axis uh, it doesn't rotate on Z axis uh, R and X X axis R X it just rotates on X axis R and then Y on Y axis R on Z Z axis this is cylinder so you cannot uh, see properly uh, the Z axis thing I can go to this shape here rotate and Z axis now you can see the rotation properly okay so yeah this is how you can rotate your object properly uh, by setting the origin um, to a certain point a certain um, certain places I mean yeah uh, setting origin properly that's the thing that's uh, what I wanted to tell you so i hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel